yourself and some of these kids that you're helping out? I mean, uh, you know, 100%. Um, you know, like I said, whether it be from, you know, really just unfortunate circumstances or maybe I just see a kid that's shy, right? Like a kid that doesn't see his potential and, you know, a kid that doesn't realize every time he comes in a room, he lights the room up. So, um, you know, I'm just trying to be that for somebody um, because I've had so many people, like I mentioned, you know, my grandmother, certain coaches that have come into my life and, you know, have just really just sparked my mind and give me some hope. When I was reading up on your past, it seems like it's been pretty rough for you. You didn't have the most ideal of childhoods. I think a lot of us can identify with that story. So that's what's really fueling your decision to put this event together. Yeah. So, um, and I've been doing this for some years now, you know, even going back to New Orleans, um, uh, this will actually be my third year uh, doing my kickball uh, event. And uh, what I like to do is really, <laughs> first of all, you know, I think a lot of people, they only see me on TV or maybe it's an autograph signing and they're kind of just being rushed through. So they never really get to know me. Like, what do I like to do other than football? <laughs> so uh, why not, you know, just kind of let those people into my life. And, um, you know, I think kickball is one of those sports, you know, I grew up playing and, um, you know, why not let the fans see me, you know, in, in that light. So you got the Tyron Matthews Celebrity Kickball Weekend on the way. It's going down Friday, May 15th and Saturday, May 16th. Yeah. Tell us about that and, and what you're trying to do with it. Yeah, well, so I think ultimately what we're really trying to do is create a family-friendly uh, environment. Um, and I think, you know, having at the T-Bone Stadium um, is going to give us that opportunity for, for people to invite their families and their friends out and really just, you know, enjoy me, myself, my teammates, um, and just try to create this atmosphere of, you know, family uh, and friendly. And uh, But the night before, May 15th, uh, we'll be at the Uptown Theater. Um, this is more of a um, VIP kind of uh, dinner uh, where we're really in hopes that we can raise money to really, really impact the kids of Kansas City because, um, uh, uh, as you know, <laughs> we need a little money to kind of do what we want to do in the community. So, uh, I mean, those two events will be really big for me. And you know, like I mentioned, um, I, I'm just so excited to, to really just bring it to Kansas City. You know, I've been doing it in New Orleans for, for the last few years, and um, I think it's time to kind of let these people in Kansas City get to know Tyron. I love New Orleans. <laughs> I do. I was on Q93 for four years. Oh, and really? yeah, it's a a city that feels like a whole nother country when you go there, Brian. Yeah. The people, like when they talk, it's like they're singing. <laughs> and I love that. Like they're the only place that make grocery. Nobody else makes groceries right. <laughs> but people from New Orleans. No, they make groceries. <laughs> so what do you think is the major difference other than probably the food and the weather from coming from New Orleans to a place like Kansas City? Well, uh, I mean, those two things. <laughs> you know, actually, I was kind of nervous before I signed here. I've never played in the cold. I've always, you know, I'm a Southern baby. You know, I played at LSU, played for Houston and Arizona. And so I was nervous about that. Um, I, I, I'll say this, though. I think one of the, the things I was most excited about because I do come from Louisiana and New Orleans and I come from this culture of, you know, this where everybody likes to celebrate together. And so me hearing about Kansas City and, and how the community was and, you know, how the fans was here and, and just how everybody kind of rallied around each other and embraced each other. Um, I was kind of, I was excited to, to be a part of that familiarity because I had already been a part of that, you know, really growing up. I know, I'm sorry. I know you've got some questions, Brian, about the upcoming season. When we come back, more with safety, Tyron Matthew on the morning grind with Shay and Shine.